Welcome back to PRT On Demand. My name is Brad. I got my friend Josh here with me today. And we're going to work on two yard dumpster bottoms with our new bottoms table. Josh is going to be the one demonstrating and I'll be your narrator today. So without any further commentary, Josh is gonna start by lifting up our dumpster, getting it ready and put into place. Josh is just going to get our dumpster in position here. See how easily that slides into place. And once Josh has this in position, as you can see here, Josh is going to pull out the framework that will hold our dumpster in place. It's gonna pin it. It's gonna have a steel rod that'll go through that stake pocket so that once he lowers down the dumpster, the weight will be supported there. Just gonna put the other rod in place. Now once it's all in position, it's gonna lower the dumpster down till it's just resting on those rods. So lower that table down slightly and we're gonna to get to work on cutting the bottom. Josh is now going to install the front support. manually push it back as far as it'll go and lock that front bar in position. Josh is going to do next is burn off as much of the paint as he can using an acetylene torch running about three inches from that bottom and as you can see he's using the framework of the bottoms table as a guide. This will not only allow cutting with the plasma torch be much more easier and efficient. This will also help in the final stage of welding. Scratch that part. As you can see, the lift assist should be propped just slightly under the dumpster. Using our plasma cutter now, we're gonna cut their bottom free from our dumpster. Using the top of the framework as a guide, you can see dragging your torch along the top makes a nice even cut. Once all four sides are cut, the bottom is free. We'll check to make sure we can lower with our lifting device. Oh, so at this point, we'll go back up and most likely just hit it with a hammer. Remove your bottom, remove your front fixture. Pull your pan out and swap with your new one. With your new pan in place, slide your cart underneath, get your pan lined up. Jack it up into its location. Now with your pan in its desired location, 
grab your front push bar and put it into place With your front port securely in place, we can move on to tack welding. Now that we're all set up and ready to start tack welding, because there's such a bow in the center, we're gonna start right in the center. Get a small tack, let it cool so that it pulls everything else back. On the side too. Boy, wasn't that easy. And like that, hands all tacked up, ready for final welding. Now that we're all finished putting our new bottom on our refurb dumpster, it's time to complete the welding. We're gonna remove the front stop bar. We're gonna jack up the pan, take the relief off the support rods, Remove the support rods. Turn your supports around. Make it easier to remove the dumpster. Pull the dumpster back out. With your dumpster all tacked in place, go back to your torch and clean off all your paint. This will allow for a better weld. Gosh, isn't that exciting, folks? Now we can finish welding. Sixteen minutes and ten seconds. I was hoping you'd make it under the sixteen, but that's okay. That's pretty darn good to weld out an entire two-yard can in sixteen minutes. Oh, I'm sure it's hot. 
Good job, Josh. Thanks everybody for checking us out once again. Thank you, Josh, for showing us Bottoms fixturing table and the speed at which it can be done. We believe you can save some money using one of our fixtures. I hope you all take care. If you have any questions, leave us some comments below. Thank you.